Domenico Solazzi in here. Welcome back to my channel. And today it's time for a new tech review. Today we are going to review like the MacBook Pro from 2020. And let me tell you immediately, this MacBook Pro is just amazing. It's really a fantastic product and probably like one of the best MacBook Pro ever built by Apple. This one is going to replace the high-end MacBook products that had tons of issues, like just to start, like the thermal issues and most of like the biggest like issue that the old MacBook Pro had was the butterfly keyboard. Seriously, how bad that keyboard was. It was bad. It's bad, that keyboard. I understand it's really really bad let's start with the spec of this macbook pro obviously this is like is not the the biggest spec that you can get from this macbook actually like these are like my spec for the one that i'm currently holding now but when you go to the website you can really increase the spec of this macbook like just to tell you like of course like you can increase like the cpu like the gpu but one of the most incredible things when you can increase your spec is the ssd hard drive you can arrive up to eight terabyte of space eight terabyte can you understand? Eight terabyte. That's, you don't need any more external hard drive when are you traveling? Yeah, it goes very up the price, but for the price you are spending for eight terabyte, the, the price you are spending that you need to pay for is not that so high. So let's start the review from the keyboard. Yeah. It looks so strange that we are starting a review of a product as like the MacBook Pro from the keyboard. Thankfully, they get rid of that butterfly keyboard. It was the worst. It was the worst. They went back to the scissors switches and they have like a more tactile feedback. I also like how they sound these switches now. They sound very well. The typing experience is so much better than the butterfly keyboard and you have also like more travel between the keys and of course it's like the keys should be like much more durable and I hope so because I really changed like mine multiple times on the butterfly keyboard. I, I'm, I'm not a typing expert but I can tell you that after using this for almost a month now it's so difficult to go back to the butterfly keyboard. It feels so good writing on this keyboard. And I can see that that was problem solved for Apple. Good job. Another thing that they change on the keyboard is that now you have like a physical escape key that is separated from the touch bar. It didn't bother me that much because I, I honestly like the touch bar, but I know there was like a multiple issue on on, on that part of the old MacBook Pro, but I never had that issue. So it's like, for me, it was not a really uh, a big deal. Same for the Touch ID. It got the uh, physical key and is separated from the touch bar. It works perfectly like before and it looks good. The arrow keys now are arranged as inverted T layout. I really didn't mind a, a bit of space on the arrow keys from the previous MacBook, but it looks good. It feels good after you, you get used again to this inverted T layout. We have a better keyboard, better switches for the keyboard. We have like a, a physical escape and touch ID button. So yeah, the keyboard I think is like, was a, like a very huge improvement for this MacBook Pro. The trackpad was also one of the parts that I think was like really interesting uh, in this new MacBook Pro. It's so big and it's like still like super precise as we know from the back MacBook Pro, uh, but I, I really love it. 
And let's talk about the thickness about this MacBook Pro. Of course, it's like it's a bit thicker of the compared to the MacBook Pro 15 inch from 2017, but it can still enter in almost every backpacks uh, that are selling out there. And we got like a bigger battery for this reason. So you, you can see that it's like uh, when you compare the two MacBook, you can see that it's a slightly thicker MacBook Pro. But I don't think that is such a big deal. Let's talk about the CPU. It's an i9 CPU for this MacBook Pro and has much better thermal performance compared to the, the previous high-end MacBook generation. Uh, so it's like it's the same CPU but we have like better performance. Yeah, it's just like just because like now they increase the size of this MacBook Pro, they could rearrange some of the components inside. The heat sink and the fan blades got a bit bigger, so the thermal performance now are much, much better. So because now the thermal performance are solved in this MacBook Pro 16 inch, that means that the MacBook Pro can stay at higher clock speed for longer periods. The GPU got like one of the biggest bump. We have like now two versions of GPU that we can choose from the website when you buy a new MacBook Pro. I'm using just the MacBook Pro for programming and video editing with Adobe products. So having a bump on the GPU and count on it, it uh, was a very good uh, thing from Apple to add to this product line. I, th I think it's just like uh, having this choice between like the two GPU for people that do like a lot of video creation and content creation was a really great thing. And let's talk about the port around the MacBook Pro. We are still like in dongle life. We just need to use like multiple adapters for having SD card, USB 2, 3.0. We have only USB type C port around. And this is very a pity. I know Apple, you are not going back to have like an SD card or like different USB, but I think that having a port for the SD card would be like so much a good addition to this MacBook Pro or the next that are coming in the in the next years. Every content creator using SD card. I know I cannot use an adapter, but why not having just it inside the MacBook Pro? Please, please, please give us like an SD card port. And in this MacBook Pro, I think we have like a four USB-C port. Probably having like two more would have been like even better. But yeah, if I have to choose, please go for the SD card. The battery got bigger. I think like 100 watts. And actually that's like means that it's like you have more time for using your, your MacBook without charging it. Of course, not so much when you're doing intensive work, like when you're doing video editing with Adobe Premiere or Adobe After Effects. Same for the charger, they got like bigger and with better capacity and still with the USB Type-C connector. The microphone was like one of the things that uh, I was impressed the most uh, because like they changed the old microphone with a new version in this new MacBook Pro. It's still not, not studio quality, but it sounds very, very good. So this is like actually a test for the new MacBook 16 inch. Like the audio is like a very good, not uh, still studio quality, but it's quite good. However, the camera is still like a very old 720p camera. I think it's like we should have like a much better camera, but audio sound is very, very good. I'm really happy with this. And if the camera will improve in the next generation of MacBook, I think we will have like a mini studio for content creator. Just saying that if you are a content creator, this becomes like a 
a very good thing that you can use your microphone for actually recording good quality audio content. But if the microphone got an upgrade, the video cam is still like the 720p and in 2020 I would have expected like a much better camera on this MacBook Pro. It's a pity because it's like with such a good microphone, having like a very good video could have become, the MacBook Pro would have become a very good tiny studio, portable studio for content creators. Okay, we do not have everything. Maybe next time, Apple, just listen, better webcam. Woo, let's talk about the speaker. Just check it out how they sound so good. Holy crap, this is like one of the best speakers that you can get for a device like that. The speaker was one of the best improvements for this MacBook Pro, like the quality is so high for, for being just like a, an internal speaker in, inside this MacBook Pro, but the improvement was really huge compared to the old MacBook Pro. So. We got like no thermal issues. We got like a such much better keyboard with like scissor switches. We, we got better speakers. We got like a better mic. We got like a bigger screen. It's a bit thicker, better battery. So overall, this is like a very, very good product. And if you are thinking to buy, I think this is like if you are programming or if you are a video editor or if you are just content creator i think the macbook got it right this time is in the right direction there are still things that could be improved but overall apple well done good job so yeah i'm going to enjoy even more i'm just using like my new macbook 2020 i can really go back to the that crappy butterfly keyboard but if you like this tech review and you want more of them, just click that like button, subscribe if you're not already, we are in 2020, you should be already subscribed to my channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified when new videos from me are coming out. So you don't have to do anything, everything comes to your email, like Domenico just published a new video, how easy it is. Just click that notification bell and YouTube will take care of everything. So we are done here and see you to the next video. Bye.